Facebook parent Meta allegedly allowed Netflix to access to users private messages, an antitrust lawsuit claims. I saw this post on Twitter two days ago where it says a Facebook has sold, Meta has sold your privacy, uh, all your private messages to Netflix for a hundred million dollars. That is literally how Netflix made their series and come ups. I guess the Netflix people, the creative side section of it, they're not being so creative. So they were like, let, let us get some new ideas. Let us go. We need to live in a life of a average person, an individual who is on these apps. We need to see their messages, grab some personalities, and we will create a documentary or create a movie based on some guy's DMs or some group chat or whatever. Now, a lot of you are sweating right now thinking, oh my God, all the things me and bro said to each other, we are definitely going to go to jail. FBI is knocking down our doors. We are getting swatted. This is the court document that was revealed. It says Facebook extended API agreements, including so-called inbox API agreement that allows Netflix programmatic access to Facebook's users private messages. Now, surprisingly, this case has been going on since mid last year, mid 2023. And whenever it comes to like big tech companies like these, they always try to keep it low key. Even three months ago, we made a video about what was it? Google's settling up a $5 billion lawsuit because, you know, when, once you go into incognito mode, you are not actually in incognito mode and you are being, your private data is being uh, reshared. And Google being the biggest search engine in the world, the way it works is whenever you go on Google and you type, for example, you want to ask a question, you want an answer to your question, how to shave my hairy, jungly ass, why am I so hairy? And then you see the results. And then like 30 minutes later, you open open Instagram and you're scrolling and an ad comes up. Do you have a hairy ass? We can help you with your jungle. Click the link below to get it trimmed or get it lasered. In addition as well, the lawsuit, the lawsuit claims that Netflix significantly increased their advertising spending on Facebook, reaching $150 million annually by 2019 alone. And in 2020, there was $200 million annually. Why? Because, well, Facebook wanted to come up with a thing called Facebook Watch, where it's similar to Netflix. And Netflix was like, hello, my friend, hold up. We don't want more competitions. What if we come to an agreement? You give us ideas from movies on these idiots online uh, mess sending uh, DMs. You help us create series. You help us create movies. And we will increase our ads to $150, $200 million each year. But at the same time, Facebook Watch was no Netflix. It, you know, Netflix's primary goal is movies, TV series. Facebook, you watch dumb memes. You have a laugh. It's like coming to YouTube and watching lives. It just doesn't go together as much. In 2016 and 2017, Facebook invested more than $1 billion into Facebook Watch. And with their good relationship between Facebook and Netflix, they wanted to stay friends. So Facebook having the Facebook meta worth $1.3 trillion in today's date, which is five times of Netflix's size, which is 266 billion dollar market cap facebook decided to keep the good relationship rather than making more billions and trillions of dollars imagine that movies and series netflix is going to be making with people's dms the creeper the watcher <laughs> the watcher being a guy keeps on sending dms uh, to a girl replying to her stories and just being kept on being um, left on red honestly if they come across my page and they check my dms they're gonna make a dedicated movie about me I have no doubt about it. And the name of the movie is going to be Never Give Up. In 2019 and 2020, if they come across, across my messages, my some would call it a whole phase. The amount of girls I used to send DMs to, uh, message them, compliment them. Hello, beautiful. Most of them, like, would actually, I had better pickup lines. I used to watch YouTube videos about how to give a nice pickup line to a girl. And most of them used to ignore me. It was it was very cringe. I might make a video about it. But there was more than a few who actually answered my DMs and we got into conversations. And some pictures were exchanged. Some words were exchanged. Like the things I'm going to do to you. We all went through that in our past. You know, talking to a girl or whatever. Now, I don't know what kind of nasty shit goes on in your DMs. But if you are smiling right now. Yes, they are going to make a movie about you too. Now, predict now predictably, now predictably, 
English left the chat for a second. Meta vehemente English left again. Denies the core allegations. The uh, the maintain that their agreement with Netflix were standard industry practices. They're basically saying nothing we did was illegal. It was all like um, you know illegal stuff. It was just a business agreement. Industry practices that the decision to shut down Facebook Watch was unrelated to the competition with Netflix. However, their refusal to elaborate on specific regarding the nature of data sharing agreement or the reason behind shutting down watches leaves the room for doubt. It's pretty simple to me. Netflix offered money. Sure, give me 200 million and we can work on more things that we can bring to the table. Or it can be some sort of blackmail. Some things goes on. Some weird stuff goes on between these billionaires tech ceos who you know in their private lives we don't know what kind of dirt maybe they pulled up on mark zuckerberg or maybe they finally found out that bro is an alien and they threatened to expose him so he was forced to not start the facebook watch which is gonna which was going to be a competition for netflix if they are proven guilty meta could face a heavily fines potentially stricter data privacy regulations public trust in both companies could be significantly significantly Eroded with customers demanding great transparency control over their data. Now, doing this research, I've seen a lot of Congress, a lot of these dinosaurs coming up and be like, why would you even put your phone number inside the app first? Me personally, I will never get on these apps and I will never, and me personally, I will never give my phone number to an application because they are going to spy on me and release my phone number to everyone and it is true you know when you get a call saying hello you want to buy this property are you interested in this you get random calls from call centers they can sell the data most uh, platforms most websites once you put your phone number or email in you get random promotion ads that's when your data is being sold and that's what the, the thing they're doing with it. but does that mean that we are going to stop putting our phone numbers there are more pros than cons in this situation. The OTPs we're going to get, the security, the safety, the everything we're going to get with putting our phone numbers, it makes it all worth it. Now, were some phone numbers leaked? Yes, I think, what was it, 2021, uh, Facebook had a huge lawsuit against them because a lot of data was leaked messages. Like, I think a shit ton of people were leaked phone numbers, emails, addresses, was leaked uh, between the year of 2018 and 2019, uh, I believe, the people who were using it. But what is going to happen? They are uh, Because uh, bad things happen because, ooh, these uh, big tech companies, they do illegal stuff. It's such a surprise. What is it going to happen? Is it going to make us stop using the apps? Are they going to stop, uh, you know, for, for us to get access to the platforms? Are they going to close down? No, the uh, people are too addicted to, uh, to the internet right now. And it is never going to stop. So what if your email gets leaked? So what if your phone number gets leaked? Who do you think you are? You think you're Kim Kardashian? A lot of these people acting like celebrities, like, oh my God, my phone number is leaked. I have to change it. A lot of calls are going to call me now. I will be so annoyed. Uh, no more privacy in my life. And what is it going to come out of if this is all true? It's just going to be new TV shows and movies about your friends or yourself which you are going to be a celebrity, then I guess you can um, be like, oh my God, my number is shared. I I'm, I'm going to get so annoyed. <laughs> well, Meta has said in the past that it does not disclose any people's private messages. The only thing when they give API access to like ne someone like Netflix is for them to check the inboxes basically and be able to send messages to users via API. That means like Netflix sending them messages and taking like reviews or surveys or whatever. And what of Meta? Meta's spokesperson said that Meta did not share private messages with Netflix. It only says the agreement allowed people to send messages to their friends on Facebook about what they were watching on Netflix directly from a Netflix app. So I don't know how that works. Maybe it's a multi messaging platform or thing or whatever i guess nothing is clear right now we just have to wait and see what happens the truth will eventually come out but if you're actually halal and you never sent uh cucumba pictures to a girl or a tata's pictures to a guy then you're in the safe zone if not if you send the uh, cucumba pictures to a girl then good luck i guess we will find uh <laughs> we will find your picture on the hub and the, the ad on those one of those ads and it will say add three inches to your small penis now anyways that was it that's what i wanted to share with you if you're bored you still want more videos these two are here take care yalla bye